Good morning, children. How are you all? I know you all are fine and happy to come in the next English period. I know you enjoy it. So do I. As you all know the importance of reading, let us read now. I hope you are going to enjoy it. So open your textbook to lesson number three, Rama learns to read and be ready. I know you all are ready. So open your textbook to page number 134 and here we go. Let's begin. Lesson number three, Rama learns to read. Get set. How would you feel if you could not read or write? Would you miss reading stories? Would you miss school? Of course we would. Now we will read the reading junction. Take a pencil in your hand and point the word which teacher is reading. Let us read a story about Rama who learns to read and write. The bell rang. Tring! It was lunch recess. The children ran out of the classroom. Jia and Hussein had their lunch. Then they ran to the playground and started playing with a flying disc. The disc flew and fell near a wall. They both ran to pick it up. Near the wall, they saw a little girl. She was grazing her goat. The girl smiled and waved at Jia. Hi! Jia in turn smiled at her. Do you know her? Hussein asked. Jia said, Yes, she is Rama. Her father is a security guard in our apartment. Hi Rama! What are you doing here? asked Jia. Rama replied, Didi, I love to come here every day. I want to go to school too. I want to read books like you, Didi. Rama, we will help you to read and write, Jia declared. Rama grinned. I will take you with me when I go to play in the park. We can sit under the banyan tree and learn together, stated Jia. Soon the bell rang again. Jia and Hussein ran back to their classroom. Jia taught Rama to read. On some days, Hussein would help too. He taught Rama to write. Rama brought ripe guavas and shared them with her friends. Jia and Hussein enjoyed the guavas before going home. Soon, Rama learned to read. The three of them would together read adventure stories and fairy tales. She also learned to solve maths problems. They solved number games too. Learning together is fun indeed. I know children, even you are missing learning together with your friends. I know children, you like this story a lot and you even understood the importance of helping your friends, your loved ones. I want you to read the story two times standing in front of the mirror so that you can listen to yourself as well as see your own expressions. Now we will do page number 136, the textual exercise of this lesson. Get going. A1. Let us find the answers from the stories. First one. Who said this and to whom? A. Yes, she is Rama. Her father is the security guard in our apartment. You are right, children. This was said by Jia to Hussein. B1. Didi, I love to come here every day. I want to go to school too. I want to read books like you, Didi. You are right again. This is what Rama said to Jia. C1. Do you know her? Now there is a question mark. So it is asking a question. 
Wow, you already know the answer. Correct. Hussein asked Jia this question. Second one. Read these sentences. Write T for true or F for false. We are going to write the complete word like true because we should know the spelling of it. So the first one that is A. Rama and Hussein were playing with a flying disc. Correct. It is false. Who was playing with the flying disc? It was Jia and Hussein who were playing with the flying disc. B1. Rama wanted to go to school. Yuppie, you are correct. Yes, she wanted to go to school. But she could not go. C1. Jia's father is a security guard. Mm. You are right again. The answer is false. It was not Jia's father who was a security guard. It was Rama's father who was a security guard. Very good children. D1. Jia and Rama met at the park to study. True. In the evening, when both Jia and Hussein used to go to park, they used to take even Rama along with them so that they could play as well as study in the park. E1. Rama brought guavas for Jia and Hussein. Correct. It is true. You are giving me all the answers correct. F1. Hussein taught Rama to write. Yuppie. This is also correct. So, we have completed the textual exercise of lesson number 3. This is all for today. Bye. Have a nice time and enjoy reading.